All right, welcome to Operation Flashlight, Allies Turn 5. Um, the Dutch East Indies have been conquered by the Japanese, and uh, this subsequent 2d12 roll is uh, very significant. So I'm going to start with that, and then we'll jump into the rest of the turn. Um, at least banking on being able to roll some tech for the US, um, but would love 24 as a roll. That would be awesome. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So we'll start it off here and uh, hopefully make it painful. Japanese aggression. Yeah. It's below average, but I guess we can live with it. It's not two or three, so plus nine for the U.S. So that gets us to 16. My math is correct. Um, so we can we can lend lease, although there is no one to lend lease to at the moment. Nobody's at war, so. Um, but we get to roll for tech, so that's fun. All right. Okay, so Great Britain's turn. You can purchase an infantry and a fighter for 13, saving 1. And Zach's going to upgrade to a major, saving 2. Um, FEC spending all 8. With all that, um, I don't think there's too much movement to do. Hope, hope you guys can hear me okay. I don't have my normal headset was excited to make that roll and do this turn, so, um, okay, so, what do we want to do here? Um, this guy's going to walk there, and uh, AAA is going to walk up there. We will do our rail movement up there. Transport will take one infantry and one. Actually, we'll take the Gurkha and bring it over here. Go into port. Um, we'll get the marker for the FEC. <coughs> He hasn't moved, so he has moved. Transport that did not move will go from one, two, three. <clears throat> this transport will go one, two, and then if I understand this rule correctly, as long as they stay within home country, the militia can do this. Um, can maybe a rule check me on that if that's not right, but they're going to transport into home country, so I think that's safe. 
could be wrong. So correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, no, we'll do the French later. Oh, and uh, the Dutch are controlled by the British, so they are going to uh, take out these two transports. Um, and this Dutch destroyer is going to run away. One, two, three, and the port. Oh, uh, he can't go to the port. But he'll go there. Is that far enough away? One, two, three. You know, they could come hunt me. One, two, three. Maybe he'll go there. One, two, three. Okay. Like cruiser and we'll go up there. <coughs> Alright, let's do the British tech rolls. Uh, really need to get radar on the board here. The time is now. So. Hey, there we go. I uh, would have liked that double 12 roll a little bit earlier, but at least on the board with radar. Um, Alright, so let's place units. He's going to Cape Town, and he's going there. They're going in there, and this guy is done. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to need that extra tech roll. <coughs> okay, so on to the French. Now, oh, first, let's collect income. All right, Great Britain's at 15. That brings up 16 total, and Zach is at 5, so that's up to 7, and FEC is at 8. Okay. All right, to the French. Um, roll their tech. There's another hit. Look at that. French tech program just crushing. Um, and their purchase is three militia for six. So saving four. Um, and we're going to do something a little spicy with them. A little spicy. So under the Abyssinia rules, uh, which the Italians won the campaign, but if you notice here under duration, even after Abyssinia or, the, or Italy achieved victory, Italy and France may continue to attack each other in Abyssinia and Eritrea without a declaration of war for the rest of the game. So, um, we are going to which is interesting because you can't attack French Somaliland um, without a declaration of war. But these guys can march into Abyssinia. Um, that bomber will stay right there. Um, so it's not a declaration of war. And they just get to continuously duke it out here. Um, 
So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I have not tried this before, and I don't know if it's worth it, but we're going to give it a shot. So that's a combat move. This is a non-combat move. One, two. Dropping these guys off here. And uh, this transport will do a strategic naval move. One, two, three, four, five. Probably should get a marker. <coughs> and we will shuffle around here. medium armor on the board, which is never a good sign. It's a lot of motorized. Oh, and they took Slovakia, so that's the other bump that happened. Okay. Alright, so how do we want to shift around? Because it could happen at any time now. Um, guys forward and we'll drop these three militia into Paris <coughs> this uh, destroyer is going to go there okay so that's France we collect nine to 13. All right. Um, KMT purchasing all eight. We're spending all eight. This two more mountain. That's all. So they get six. USA is purchasing eight. Two militia, two militia upgrades. They're going to go into the Philippines. So we'll just delete those guys. And, um, oh, forgot to knock these out. Oh, this British sub. I meant to move him there. Um, yeah. Okay, so they're there. All right, and USA is on the board with tech. So um, we're rolling seven. We upgraded three factories, which might be overkill. But we're going to give it a shot anyway, see how it works out. So... All right, let's get a good start here. Nope, there's a hit. Nope, there's a hit. There's a hit. And two misses at the end, two ones. That was a 10 roll in the last second. All right, so three out of seven. Um, all right. So, what's the income at? Um, 16. When do we get rolls? Not for another couple turns. All right. Um, what's Russia at? Russia's at 8. They're sad. But it could be worse. So, 16. <coughs> 
Alrighty, back to the axis. Um, yeah, the French go before the Italian turn, so that's safe. Yep, yeah, okay, we're good. Alright, back to you, Nathan. See ya.